What's up guys, it's Casey and welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can tell from the title of this video, I am going to be talking about my experience using Dr. Bronner's on my hair. If you guys have never heard of Dr. Bronner's before, it is a soap that you can get at drugstores like Walgreens, um, Harmon's Face Value, if you guys have that in your city, they have it here in New York. Um, I want to say Whole Foods as well and just a bunch of places pretty much and it is a soap that you can use legit for everything so I've been using Dr. Bronner's to clean my brushes as well as wash my body for years but if you were to read the bottle it tells you you can use it as toothpaste you can mop your floors with it you can clean your dishes you can do your laundry with it you can literally use it for whatever and skincare and hair care is a part of it so I wanted to come on here and just kind of give you guys my experience now besides the soap they also sell a conditioner as well as a hair creme and so I got to experience those as well as Dr. Bronner's did send me a bunch of products for review this is not sponsored though just want to throw that out there and I just want to let you guys know how I feel about the products so before we begin you already know what to do make sure you like comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn the notification bell so you are notified every single time I upload a new video and let's go ahead and get started so this is a Dr. Bronner soap this is what it looks like and I'm pretty sure you're like oh I, I recognize it. I've definitely seen it before so it comes in a bunch of different scents this one here is the hemp lavender I do have the eucalyptus as well as the peppermint but they come in and um, a no scent it comes in a tea tree oil comes in a citrus they come in a bunch of different scents and I can smell it now so when I initially washed my hair with these products I could not smell anything so now I can actually tell you guys that the scent is so good if you love lavender you will absolutely love this but it is really really strong which I like I prefer that I like when things smell strong when it's like a natural scent like I don't like the strong artificial smelling products if that makes sense I do want to say Dr. Bronner's is a certified fair trade company just throw that out there it is organic it is cruelty free and they do a lot for their communities so if you're somebody who only looks for products that stand by their social responsibility definitely check out Dr. Brothers. you will absolutely love them I do want to say that this product has to be diluted so this is an 8 ounce bottle however I have a huge 32 ounce of the peppermint soap and that's gonna last a long time because everything has to be diluted you have to apply this with a lot of water so even though the soaps to me are a little pricey, just a little bit, it's going to last you a long time because you have to incorporate so much water with it. So let's go ahead and jump in and talk about how I felt when I used these products in my hair. So I use the Pure Castle soap as a shampoo and I want to say that I was super nervous because actually on the bottle it tells you if you use it on your hair your hair is going to feel dry and kind of stringy and tangly so to make sure you follow up with the conditioner that absolutely worried me because this is not a brand that's geared just towards natural hair this is towards everyone so I'm like okay if someone with like a type 1 or type 2 hair is gonna feel dry and stringy I already know my hair is gonna feel crazy so I was really really nervous and had my conditioner on standby to follow up with it because I was like I don't know how this is about to turn out but I was really surprised it didn't feel dry or tingly like they said it was actually perfectly fine I've had real shampoos that made my hair feel stringy you know what I mean this didn't give me that feeling at all and I absolutely loved it for a shampoo and I will be using it as a shampoo from here on out whenever I'm not trying any new products and I just need to cleanse my hair it felt good it smelled good and got all the product builds up and any dirt out of my scalp so I highly recommend using this as a shampoo and since it comes in so many different scents you can get your hands on a lot of different ones so if you love peppermint you love citrus you love eucalyptus you can do that and like I said before this is a multi-purpose product you can use it for anything so it's like if you get the 32 ounce you can use that for your shampoo but then you can also use it on your body you can use it to do anything it's like the perfect product especially for a guy because you know they're like I don't need all these steps like this is just too much here just take this big old bottle and you can use it for anything so I just want to say this as a shampoo on a naturalista highly highly recommend you guys know I have type 4 hair and it's super dense and it works well for me so if you have this already in your house or you're passing through a supermarket and you want to get one I say go for it and I do want to say that the bottle is recycled plastic bottle so you can recycle this they're just it's just amazing they're all about the environment as well as a great product so 
I definitely say go ahead and use this as a shampoo if you haven't already. The next product that I followed up with was this Citrus Organic Hair Rinse. So this is going to be their conditioner. It claims it's going to give you shiny and silky hair. Now I'm sure you guys can tell from the clip of me applying this, I didn't enjoy this as much as I wanted to unfortunately. It just... It just wasn't cutting it for me. Um, I didn't feel like it conditioned my hair or made my hair feel soft or gave me any slip. This also has to be diluted a little bit. It just, I felt like it just sat on top of my hair. Like I know when a conditioner is going to work for me and this just wasn't doing it unfortunately. Now let me see what it smells like because I couldn't smell when I was using it. Oh, it smells like citrus. It smells, ooh, it's strong. I like it though, but it might be a lot for some people. Um, yeah, I just don't think this personally was for my hair type. I'm not feeling it for me. It might just work with somebody with a more looser curl pattern, maybe not as much density. Like, I just feel like I use so much of this trying to get my hair to feel conditioned and it just wasn't cutting it. Um, I feel like I would probably end up using like half the bottle to do my whole head. I might have to try it again just in the shower because as you guys seen, I was sitting in my filming room to do this. So I might have to do that and try it out. But yeah, this just wasn't cutting it for me, unfortunately. So I'm gonna pass on this. And the final product that I used was the Lavender Coconut Organic Hair Creme, which this is pretty much like your leave-in conditioner. Well, this is for leave-in conditioning and light styling so if you are doing a twist out or a braid out or something like that and you don't necessarily need all the hold you can just use this product by itself now I did just use this as my leave-in conditioner um, and I liked it it was cool like it wasn't my favorite product out of the three that would have to go to this soap but it did its job the thing is it does have a thinner consistency so it's like more of a milky consistency so I felt like I had to use a lot because my hair is so thick but I find that somebody with maybe type 4a or even like 3c might absolutely love this for a leave-in conditioner it smells great my hair did feel nice this is the leave-in conditioner that I use for my tweed out if you guys haven't seen that video I will link it in the cards right here for you guys to check it out but my hair did look amazing and it was soft and conditioned for a long time so I will say that you know this did its thing so I did like it so yeah guys, that is going to be my really, really quick review on Dr. Bronner's on My Type 4 Hair. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if you have tried Dr. Bronner's. What do you use it for? I would love to know. Maybe you guys are using it in a different way that I've never tried before and I should try it. So I would love to hear your thoughts. Will you be trying Dr. Bronner's on your hair if you haven't already? And yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.